So in the last few months, we've got a couple new generals in Ebony. And today, we are going to be looking at the two newest mounted generals. Beowulf and Java Man. Now, these two generals are pretty unique, and I think they did a pretty good job implementing them. Uh, let's just take a look at their overall stats and see how it, uh, they stack up to the rest of them. Now, before we go look at their stats, let's just refresh what these columns are. First one is the skill base, skill for one star, the skill for five star, specialty, which is maxed specialties, and then anything from covenant or skin fully maxed out that we can get. Now with the covenant and skin, I only count the buffs. They're effective in the attacking or the marching configuration. The ones that are only rallies, I don't count those because they're pretty finicky. And then lastly, we have the attributes. And then if they have any little weird knick or knack, that goes down in the trick category. And then here's the totals. So, let me get Jav, Java Man. 45, 25, 25. That's not bad as a base stat. And it's just pretty standard. Upgrading him to one star, he becomes a little bit more survivable. And once you get him up to five stars, we can see it's really, he's more of a survivable general than anything else. Specialty also pretty heavy into that. And his covenant, his covenant's all right. It gives you a little bit of attack. The march size is nice, so it is a decent covenant overall. Once you total out his stats, uh, this box is red because that's the third highest attack stat of any general. So for a new general, that's pretty pretty decent, third highest. Uh, 295, the yellow box means it's the second highest. So he has the second highest uh, hit point stat, second only to Lee Nemosa. But the part that's really interesting is he has 260 defense, which is very solid. We can see that third place is... Uh, 270 so he's like fourth or fifth for defense so he is a very survivable general his main weakness is going to be he doesn't have a lot of march size but all things considered i don't really think that's too bad i've done some calculations so far based on my uh, limited calculators for hp and defense and i believe j of a man does have better efficient survivability than lee nomosa does and since they are compatible as a main and assistant, they they are going to do very well. The the more survivable combo is Java Man lead with Lee Nemosa assistant, but Lee Nemosa lead with Java Man assistant is also a pretty solid combo. So if you're looking for a very tanky mounted march, that's a very solid option that I would uh, recommend. Now, the other general, Beowulf. Beowulf is an interesting one. His description, it kind of reads like he might be more focused towards monster generals because he does have some buffs that are specific to monsters. So when we look at his overall stats for base level 35, 35, and 30, they're pretty well-rounded. Not the worst, not the best. It's just kind of whatever. Uh, upgrading him, he gets a little bit more survival. So at one start, that's pretty decent. It's uh, more survival than... Java man, so if you can use him at one star, that's that's not terrible. Fully maxed out, pretty okay survivability, reasonably low attack. Uh, the specialty, really nothing to write home about. And then his uh, covenant, it's, it's decent, it's better than some of the others. 8% uh, march size is nice, so that helps him out a lot. But once you get down to these numbers, he's not really outstanding in any category. He's pretty average across the board. 14% march size is pretty nice. That does help him out some. But overall, he's just a solid general. Nothing uh, nothing crazy, but nothing terrible either. And we're going to look at his monster performance a little bit later. But for now, let's look at how these two stack up as assistants. Now as assistants, Java Man is pretty decent overall as an assistant for attack. He ranks in second. Uh, HP and defense are pretty solid stats. Beowulf has pretty solid HP and defense as an assistant as well. The attack is pretty lackluster, but 14% march size does help compensate for that. 
So overall, both of these generals are pretty good assistants. Uh, J. Alva Man is definitely the better of the two, but Beowulf isn't a terrible choice. Now let's look at the effective damages. First, the effective damages for the main general. Now these effective damages are based on a 2,500% buff for a K40 with a total march size of 3.05 million. And then, then we also have that march including the skin and covenant, and then that march again including the attack book and the march size book if they are available for that general. So you see that both of these uh, overall on this one fall pretty low. They're not super high damage generals. Beowulf especially is pretty low damage when, in terms of effective damage. J. Alva Man, once you get his uh, Covenant, it does boost him up to 84. So that would put him up to like 8. So right about where Roland is. So not terrible, especially considering when he's geared towards the survivability aspect. Beowulf, even with the specialty and whatnot, still not great. Now let's sort by this once we throw on the attack books and the effectiveness. Uh, I don't have any information yet on what books are compatible with Beowulf, so I can't do this calculation for him, but I don't think they would boost him above anything at all. He's still going to be a pretty low damage overall general. We can see that once you factor in everything, Java Man comes down to 5th in overall damage. That's pretty good. It's a pretty solid general. Right above Roland in terms of effective damage, so not great. Not terrible, but attack isn't really his thing. Now, looking at the assistant boxes, uh, we can see that neither of them are very high on damage as an assistant. But as we said, they're both reasonable assistants in terms of health and defense. I think of the two generals, Giava Man is definitely the better of the two. Beowulf, not as much. He's kind of lackluster. Once you throw the skin and the covenant in, they become a lot better. Java Man comes up to about 4th or 5th overall, so nothing terrible, nothing crazy. Overall, for the assistant category, Andre is still just the absolute best mounted assistant you can get. Unless you're going for like a pure defense HP march, then you might consider another, but just for pure damage overall, well-rounded stats, Andre is the best. Now these numbers right here, these are some testing that I'm doing, was doing, and I'll continue that later. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but just so you know, if you're looking to make a most survivable possible march, right now the best survivable march you can get is Java Man and Lena Mosa. And they are compatible, so that's good to know. If you're looking for the most damage march overall, Napoleon and Andre is going to be the highest damage march. So those are the two broad categories, whether you want to mix and match different generals to get a mix of them, it's up to you. But that's the preliminary report on the new generals. Now let's shift gears and look at the monster hunting capacity of Beowulf. Now we've already looked at Beowulf's stats. Uh, there's not going to be any difference for the skill base in him, it's going to be the same one. Once we get to 5 stars we can see his stats are a little bit higher, nothing really crazy. And his specialty really becomes more viable with 75% attack now. So that does give him a very high total attack, coming up to 329%. Now if we look at the previous highest monster hunting general attack, 292% for Maria. Uh, yeah, he blows her out of the water, and he has more march size. And his marches are more survivable. So for monster generals, just terms of... Raw effectiveness and damage, Beowulf's pretty good. Now, here's my problem with Beowulf. He's built as a monster general, but he doesn't really have any of the monster quirks that you'd want. He doesn't give you any stamina reduction. He doesn't give you any drop percent. The debuff on monsters is only a 10% debuff on defense, so that's pretty low. So he really lacks in these categories. Whereas if we're using uh, Teresa... We get a 30% uh, percent stamina reduction and a 25% attack debuff on monsters, plus a 20% double drop rate. So these are super important stats that he's missing out on. And 
thing with Beowulf, since you're not really getting those stats, there's not really an advantage for using him as a specific monster hunting general. And so if you're just going to be looking for pure damage, Napoleon Prime does more damage than him. So if you're looking to hunt the biggest monsters you can, I'd recommend Napoleon Prime and Andre instead of Beowulf. I think that Beowulf tries to... He tries to do too much. He tries to be a good PvP general and also be a little bit of a monster general, but he's not good enough in either category to really justify using him above the other ones who are in those categories. And that's just my thought on him. Uh, as far as looking at all these other generals, since we're here, I guess we'll look at them as well. Uh, just real quick. We're not really super worried about the damage stats overall or the march size considering that for the monster general we're more interested in things like uh, the double drop rate which if you're looking for the highest double drop is bay bars of course but he can't take the double drop book so in practice once you calculate in the book the dora actually has the highest double drop rate when you add 18 percent of this that makes it a uh, 0.42 so one percent higher than a uh, bay bars now, if you want to boost that even further, you could uh, use some assistance. I believe that you could use a Sonata as the main. Would it work? The Dora as the assistant would work to get that boosted double drop rate. There's also probably some others that are compatible. So if you play around with that, you can maximize that. Other outliers is Caesar. Caesar has a 30% debuff on defensive monsters and I really want to figure out how this affects the effective damage. I need to go data mine the stats for the boss monsters and apply that 30% debuff to see effectively how that's going to affect your effective damage. So I still have hope for Caesar. His stats aren't very good overall but I think that 30% debuff on monsters could in some situations make him a lot more viable than he seems at first. Now if we look at the assistant role, uh, the door still gets the 0.25 for drop rate, Bay Bars can still get the 0.41, and there's nothing really crazy that we didn't really see in the first one, just the stats overall, nothing uh, jumps out too much. Beowulf gets the 14% as an assistant, so that is pretty nice. He also gets the defense and the speed bonuses with some decent attacks. So as an assistant, Beowulf for monster hunting could be viable if you're looking to max out your speed and just get a little bit extra damage, so not terrible. Let's move on to the effective damage. Now this is for the main general. Calculating for the same march from earlier, uh, I don't believe I've included the attack book on this stat. No, there's no attack book or march size on this. So we do need to keep in mind generals that aren't compatible with the monster attack book. That would be Caesar and Ethelflaed, so their effective damage is going to suffer. And if for some reason Beowulf can't take it, he will suffer in that category too. So do keep that in mind as you look at this effective damage. But we can see that Beowulf does come far above all the others in terms of effective damage. But Napoleon still beats out Beowulf. So Beowulf's monster buffs don't really get him above Napoleon in the Monster Hunter category. So if you already have Napoleon, I wouldn't really worry about getting Beowulf. I mean at five stars. As an assistant Beowulf's. Not bad. Looking at the assistant category, Andre's still on top. 50 billion damage. Beowulf 44.6. This might seem like a lot, but when you compare all the other mounted generals and how they do, Beowulf stacks up pretty good as an assistant compared to Andre, so he could be a viable option as a monster hunting assistant, but as a main monster hunting general, I don't think so. So that's my verdict on the two new mounted generals. Sorry it's taken so long to get this video out. I've still got a lot of projects I'm working on, and they're still in the works, so uh, keep your eye out for them. It might be a couple days, might be a couple weeks, but yeah.